For millennia, Homo sapiens wandered the earth, living as part of nature's grand tapestry. They hunted, gathered, and survived in harmony with the wild. But at some pivotal moment in our history, something extraordinary happened. Humans stopped merely existing within nature and began to shape it. This was no small feat. It marked the dawn of humanity as Earth's first engineers, a transformation that would forever alter the planet and our place within it. This documentary explores how Homo sapiens transitioned from passive inhabitants to active architects of their environment. From crafting simple stone traps to building intricate water systems, early humans laid the foundation for civilization by bending nature to their will. This journey wasn't just about survival, it was about ambition, ingenuity, and the audacity to reimagine the world. We'll delve into the milestones of this transformation, the first tools designed to manipulate the landscape, the creation of shelters and settlements, and the ingenious methods used to control water and resources. Through archaeological evidence and modern reconstructions, we'll uncover how these early innovations sparked a revolution that continues to shape our world today. Join us as we travel back tens of thousands of years to witness the birth of humanity's role as Earth's engineers, a story of resilience, creativity, and the unrelenting drive to master the environment. Around 300,000 years ago, Homo sapiens emerged in Africa, equipped with a remarkable asset, a brain capable of complex problem solving. Unlike their predecessors, these early humans didn't just react to their environment, they began to manipulate it. The first signs of this shift were subtle but profound. Simple tools like sharpened stones and wooden spears weren't just for hunting, they were the earliest instruments of environmental control. Archaeological sites, such as those in East Africa's Rift Valley, reveal evidence of deliberate environmental modification. Early humans constructed stone traps, piles of rocks strategically placed to funnel animals into confined spaces for easier hunting. These weren't random acts, but calculated designs, requiring an understanding of animal behavior and terrain. By altering the landscape, Homo sapiens turned nature's chaos into a controlled system for survival. These early innovations weren't limited to hunting. In regions like the Levant, evidence suggests humans began clearing land to create open spaces, possibly for gathering or early forms of agriculture. This wasn't farming as we know it, but it was a step toward reshaping the land for human needs. By removing vegetation or redirecting natural paths, they created environments tailored to their activities. The cognitive leap behind these actions was immense. Homo sapiens didn't just adapt to their surroundings. They envisioned ways to improve them. This mindset, planning, designing, and executing changes to the natural world, marked the birth of engineering. It was a spark that would ignite a cascade of innovations, transforming humans from mere inhabitants to active shapers of their world. As Homo sapiens spread across continents, they encountered diverse and often harsh environments. Survival demanded more than tools, it required control over the elements. One of the earliest feats of environmental engineering was the construction of shelters. In sites like Terra Amata in France, dating back 400,000 years, archaeologists have found evidence of temporary shelters made from branches and stones. These structures weren't just protection from the elements, they were humanity's first attempt to create a controlled microenvironment. Shelters evolved as humans migrated to colder regions. In modern-day Ukraine, at sites like Majirik, mammoth bones and tusks were used to build sturdy dwellings around 15,000 years ago. These weren't random piles of bones, but carefully engineered structures with bones interlocked to form walls and roofs. This ingenuity allowed humans to thrive in climates where survival would otherwise have been impossible. Water management was another frontier. In arid regions, early humans dug shallow pits to collect rainwater, as seen in sites across the Middle East. These pits, lined with stones or clay, were precursors to more advanced irrigation systems. By controlling water, humans ensured a reliable supply for drinking and later for cultivating plants. In coastal areas, evidence from South Africa's Blombos Cave suggests humans built stone walls to protect against rising tides demonstrating an early understanding of coastal engineering. Fire, too, became a tool of environmental control. 
Controlled burns, evidenced in archaeological charcoal layers, were used to clear forests, promote new plant growth, and attract game. This manipulation of fire transformed landscapes, creating open grasslands that suited human needs. It was a bold statement. Homo sapiens weren't just surviving nature, they were reshaping it. These early engineering feats required collaboration, planning, and a deep understanding of the environment. They laid the groundwork for the complex societies that would follow, proving that humans could not only adapt, but dominate their surroundings. By 12,000 years ago, Homo sapiens began transitioning from nomadic lifestyles to settled communities, a shift that demanded unprecedented environmental engineering. The Fertile Crescent, a cradle of early civilization, offers some of the best evidence. Sites like Gobekli Tepe in modern-day Turkey reveal massive stone structures, some weighing up to 50 tons, erected around 11,000 years ago. These weren't just buildings. They were monumental efforts to reshape the landscape for cultural and social purposes. Building such structures required advanced engineering knowledge. Stones were quarried, transported, and precisely placed, suggesting a sophisticated understanding of leverage and balance. These early settlements weren't just about shelter. They were about creating spaces for community, ritual, and identity. The construction of Gobekli Tepe predates the wheel and metal tools, yet its builders managed to create enduring monuments that still stand today. Settlements also required resource management. In Mesopotamia, early humans dug canals to divert river water for irrigation, transforming arid lands into fertile fields. These canals, some stretching miles, were feats of planning and labor. They allowed for surplus food production, which supported larger populations and the rise of complex societies. This shift to sedentism wasn't universal, but transformative where it occurred. It marked a turning point where humans no longer followed nature's rhythms, but imposed their own. The environment became a canvas and Homo sapiens were its artists, painting with stone, water, and fire. The engineering feats of early Homo sapiens had far-reaching consequences. By reshaping their environments, humans created conditions for population growth, cultural development, and technological advancement. Surplus food from irrigation led to trade, specialization, and the birth of cities. In Mesopotamia, cities like Uruk emerged around 4000 BC with complex water systems and monumental architecture. Environmental engineering also had unintended consequences. Deforestation for settlements and agriculture altered ecosystems, sometimes irreversibly. In the Levant, overgrazing and land clearing led to soil erosion, a challenge that persists today. These early lessons highlight the dual nature of human ingenuity, the power to create and the potential to destroy. The spread of engineering knowledge wasn't uniform. In the Americas, complex societies like the ancestral Puebloans built cliff dwellings in kivas, adapting to their arid environment with remarkable ingenuity. In East Asia, rice paddies transformed wetlands into productive fields, supporting dense populations. Each culture engineered its environment in unique ways, reflecting local needs and resources. This global spread of environmental manipulation set the stage for the modern world. The ability to control water, land, and resources allowed humans to build civilizations. But it also sowed the seeds of challenges we face today, from climate change to resource depletion. The legacy of Homo sapiens as Earth's first engineers is all around us. Every city, dam, and road owes its existence to those early innovators who dared to reshape their world. Their tools were simple, stone, wood, and fire. But their vision was boundless. They saw the world not as it was, but as it could be. Today, we face the consequences of that vision. Our ability to engineer the environment has reached unprecedented scales, from skyscrapers to artificial islands. Yet the challenges of sustainability remind us of the delicate balance our ancestors began to navigate. Their story is a testament to human ingenuity and a cautionary tale of its limits. As we look to the future, the spirit of those first engineers lives on. Their legacy challenges us to engineer not just for survival or dominance, 
but for harmony with the planet that sustains us. Beneath the smoke of the morning fires, the sun had not yet breached the distant hills when the first wisps of smoke began curling upward from the center of the valley. The cold breath of dawn clung to the earth like mist, dampening the woven grass mats that covered the sleeping forms of the people. A single shape stirred, a woman, lean and sinewy, rising from a bed of furs and moss. Her name was unknown to time, but her movements bore the precision of ritual. Her hands reached toward the sky briefly, acknowledging the return of light before turning toward the coals of last night's fire. With practiced care, she nudged the embers, coaxing them back to life with dry twigs and a steady breath. Others soon followed, emerging from huts made of saplings, reeds, and mud-plastered stone. The structures, though primitive in design, had been crafted with a patient eye for shelter. Angled away from the wind, their entrances aligned to catch the rising warmth of the morning sun. Some structures were large enough to house several family members, while others were compact, private spaces for the elders or newly paired couples. Outside each, footprints marked the earth in worn paths, evidence of a life lived in repetition, from fire to river, from hut to forest, from birth to death. The men gathered first around the fire pit. They did not speak, but each knew his task. One examined the heads of their spears, checking for loose bindings of sinew. Another tested the flex of a bow strung with dried gut, fingers tightening the tension. Further off, two younger males squatted near a patch of sharpened stone flakes, selecting what they would carry into the forest that day. They had learned from their fathers that tools were not just objects. They were extensions of the hand and of survival itself. As the women stirred, the camp began to echo with a new rhythm. The grinding of seeds between stone slabs, the snapping of dry stalks to line cooking pits, the low rustle of woven baskets being filled with dried roots and stored nuts. One woman knelt beside a hollowed log, stirring a paste of crushed berries and honeycomb to be used later for salve or sustenance. A child crawled near her, mimicking her actions with a stick, his hands stained red with juice. Children, too young for formal duties, played with bones and bits of hide, their small imaginations shaping the world. They learned through imitation, watching the older ones prepare snares, listening to the gestures and sounds that replace spoken teaching. Language existed, but not in the way the future would define it. Here, knowledge passed through action, through the shared breath of generations huddled close to the same flames. The story of Homo sapiens as Earth's first engineers is one of audacity and transformation. From stone traps to monumental temples, early humans reshaped their world with ingenuity and ambition. They didn't just survive nature, they molded it, creating the foundations of civilization. This documentary has explored the milestones of that journey. The first tools, shelters, water systems, and settlements that marked humanity's rise as environmental architects. Each innovation was a step toward mastering the earth, a process that continues to define our species. As we reflect on this legacy, we're reminded of our dual role as creators and stewards. The same ingenuity that built Gobekli Tepe and Mesopotamian canals now drives us to address global challenges like climate change and resource scarcity. The story of Earth's first engineers is not just history, it's a call to action. Let's honor their legacy by engineering a world that thrives in balance with nature, ensuring that the spark of ingenuity continues to light the way forward.